Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really well. So today I'm going to be showing you my whole freelance kit. I promised you guys in a previous video that I would show you everything that I have in my kit. So I decided to do that today. There was a couple of ways I could have gone about this, but what I decided to do was to film a video showing you everything in the kit and then later on I'll do separate videos on each kind of part of my kit and go a little bit more in depth. So today I'll show you everything and then in like my next video I can show you all of my foundations, what I use each one for and so forth. Let me know in the comments down below which part of my kit you would like to see more of first and yeah I can definitely film each part as we go on in the future and whatnot. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video and I'm just going to get straight into it. So as I do typically work from my studio, this is my table where I work from. On this side here, I have some of my brushes. These are mainly face brushes. In the back, I have all of my foundations lining all the way back there. And then I have like concealers and primers and skincare stuff over there. And then right here in the middle is all of my powders, well, my most used powders and some Anastasia concealers there. And I've also got a bunch of stuff in the drawer which I will go into once I go through all the top section. Okay, so I'm going to start off by bringing you into this little corner. This thing here is just the strap of my brush belt which is up here. These are most of the brushes I use for my freelancing and then I've got some others there. These are just the brushes that I use for freelancing. I don't use these on myself usually. I've got separate brushes for my use. But yeah, um, I'll go into more detail of the brushes that I use if you guys would like. I can do that in a separate video and show you guys what I keep in my brush belt. But for the majority, they're mainly like Sigma brushes. And I've got a few different brands in there. So in this corner, I've got some William Tuttle foundations. I have four of these. I have four of these. These are the shades Rama, Chinese 2, Chinese 1, and toasted honey. I mainly use these for contouring because they're really light and airy. And I've only got dark colors. So over here I have five MAC face and body foundations. I think these are a staple in everybody's kit. Everyone should have them. I think they are so universal and yeah, I just think they're amazing. And also I use these as my daily foundation lately. I use, yeah, I think it's, no, I use this shade. This is C2. So I have the shades C1, C2, I'm pretty sure this is C3, no, this one's C4, and then 5 and 6, I believe. Yep, C5 and C6. Yep. Over here, I have three of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundations. These are absolute holy grail foundations of mine. I love these. I also use these on myself. I think these foundations are perfect for people with dry skin. So I have the shades 6.5, 3, and 5.5. I mainly just get a few of each, like, of each foundation because I like to mix in between. You don't really have to have every single shade, but yeah, I just got three of those. And then I, over here I have three of the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundations. I personally don't use these on many clients. I only have these at hand because... I have a few clients that ask for this foundation. So I have the shades NC30, NC40, and NW20. So over here I have all of my Makeup Forever HD foundations. I have quite a few shades of them. It's not completely necessary to have every single shade, but I prefer to just have a few shades because a lot of my clients are just straight shades. My most used one is this one, no. This one is probably my most used one. You can tell I accidentally broke the lid because I dropped it. But this is shade one, two, three. And all the shades of Makeup Forever HD that I have are 117, 118, 120, 123, 125, 128, 140, yep, 140, 153, and 175. 
then I also have three Makeup Forever Face and Body. I have shade 20, shade 32, and shade 34. I have three of the Chanel Vita Lumia Aqua Foundations. Actually, I think it's only two of the Vita Lumia Aqua, and then I have one Perfection Lumia Velvet, which I was given by accident. It was supposed to be a another one of these, but the lady at the Chanel store gave me this one instead. But it doesn't matter, I still use it. And I mainly use these for people with dry skin because it is a water-based foundation. And yeah, I mix it in with a few foundations and I also use it on their own when my clients just want a sheer finish. Here are my Camo Cosmetics foundations. I think these foundations are really underrated. I love them. I own every single shade in the line. This one, I would have to say, is my most used one. I use this on... All of my girls who have fake tans, any girl with like a spray tan or a fake tan, usually my clients have them pretty dark. I use this and I mix it in with a little bit of the Makeup Forever HD in 153. And the color that that comes with is really pretty. And it works for all of like the tan skin girls. Over here I have four of the Illamasqua Rich Liquid Foundation. These are waterproof foundations which I love. I actually bought these after Samar Khuzami's workshop because this was one of the foundations he used on me. He mixed it in with another one, but I loved the coverage of this and yeah, I thought it worked really well. So I bought a few of them to add to my kit. So I'm pretty much just gonna go in of an order and then after I finish this part, I'll go in with my powders and eye stuff and all that afterwards. So over here I have four of the Kogendo Moisture Foundations. These are amazing for people with dry skin. I have the shades 001, 123, 113, and 112. I keep them there. Then I have three of the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Concealers. This one I would have to say is my favorite shade or my most used. My most used, it's the shade SC2. I also have SC1 and also SC4. They're all fairly different to each other. See how this one has the bigger orange part and smaller yellow, whereas this one's vice versa. But I mainly use the yellow shade in this one because it suits most of my clients' skin tones. Okay, so over here I have a bunch of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers. I've got, of course, Custard. I have Ginger, Vanilla, Chantilly. This one is... Biscuit, honey, and lastly we've got caramel. If you guys want to see swatches of anything, leave a comment down below and I can definitely do that for you guys. I can add them to my blog because I am doing a lot more of stuff on my blog, which you guys can check out, link is always in the bio. Yeah, so there'll be like swatches or anything if you guys want to see. But over here I have five of the Pro Longwear Concealer. This is shade NW25. We've got NW20. We've got NC20. We've got an NC30. And then another NW20. And I've also got here my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundations. Thank you guys who suggested the MAC Pump. I got MAC Pumps for almost all of my foundations really, but thank you guys who suggested that because this has actually saved my life and I don't waste as much product. So the shades of this I have are one and two Acru, one and one Ivory Nude, and six W1 Sandalwood. So I have three of these that I mix I have a super light one, I have a medium one, and then I have a dark one. And also I'm a complete neat freak, so every time I take something out, I always have to put it back in the same spot. Okay, so I have three of the By Terry 
denseless concealers you guys I've only just recently discovered these after my shopping box haul and oh, when this says creaseless or anti wrinkle these bad boys aren't lying they're just magic I haven't used anything like them before but I do have the shades vanilla beige fresh fair and also lastly natural beige so I have three of those. These ones are just different undertones. See, this one's a little bit more pink toned than this one. This one's a lot more on the warmer tones. I also have a Bobbi Brown tinted eye brightener in light, oh, pardon me, in light beige, oh sorry, light bisque too. And then I have two of the Dolce & Gabbana, the concealer. And I have the shades Creamy 3 and also Ivory 1. So I usually go for a really light shade and then one that's kind of like a medium shade. I'm a complete concealer junkie so I always buy new ones whenever I have the opportunity. I also have three of the Makeup Forever Lift Concealers. These are amazing as well. I love mixing these. I have the shades 2, 3 and 5. For everyone asking where I buy my makeup forever from, I buy them from Media Makeup Store, which is located in Adelaide. So then I also have four of the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealers. These are holy grails for me. I just, I, I can't like describe how much I love these. They're, these are my babies. But I have the shades Light. I have the shade, what's this? Tan. I have light to medium sand, I think that is. Light medium, and then I have medium neutral, which lately has been my most used one. And the final concealers that I have are the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealers. I have the shades 3 and 1. So over here I have my primers, or my most used primers. I have the Benefit Professional the Sisley Instant Perfect, which is amazing for people with oily skin. I have oh, the Makeup Forever Base Eclat Radiant Primer. This one, there's a few different ones to this. I have Step 1. Okay, so this one's a Radiant Primer, and then this is the same kind of collection, and this is the Smoothing Primer, which I have found to be amazing for smoothing and filling in pores. And it also helps with fine lines. I also have the Makeup Forever HD Primer in number 5. This one's a little bit blue toned, which instead of using a full green kind of tone to counteract redness, I use the blue one, which is pretty cool. I just recently got this primer. It is the Radiance Primer by Laura Mercier. I haven't tried this out much yet. I've only used it a couple times, but I'll let you guys know how this goes. I have the NYX Angel Veil vale Primer, the NYX Pore Filler, Giorgio Armani Fluid Master Primer. This stuff is amazing. And also one of my holy grails, MAC Strobe Cream. Love this stuff. So down here is most of my skincare that I use on my clients. This right here is something that I've only discovered just recently. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I'm going to have a full blog post on this up on my blog soon. This was actually recommended to me by my friend Arielle. Dude, this thing is amazeballs. This cream will change your life. But stay tuned for a full blog review on this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. And then this is a moisturizer that I use for people with dry skin. I've actually just run out. I had a pretty big weekend, so I used up the rest of that. But this is the Bobbi Brown Extra Repair Moisture Cream. This stuff is amazing, very hydrating. Down here I have a sample of the Max Drape Cream. I mainly use this for myself and then use like the bigger one for my clients, but I just keep it here just so I don't lose it. This is a really good eye cream by Bobbi Brown. It is the hydrating eye cream. This thing is much loved. It is almost out, so I need to restock soon, but that is really, really good as well. And mainly for people with oily skin, I use the Embroilice cream. I kind of had to roll it down because I'm running out. 
I do have a backup though. I was just squeezing out. You know when like you have a moisturizer and it like it all get just gets stuck in there. Yeah, I kind of rolled it down to kind of get all that stuff out because we don't like to waste products. So yeah, I have that, and then I have a deluxe sample of the Bobbi Brown. What is this? Vitamin enriched face base, which is actually pretty good. I really like this stuff. Okay, so over here I have a lot of the lip glosses I use. I have some wedges. These are just your standard wedge sponges, which are amazing. I'm actually going to show you in an upcoming video as well what I use these for because I pretty much just use these for the same thing. Down here I have a, this is a YSL cream blush. I actually use this as a lipstick. I don't typically use it as a cream blush because it lasts so much but this color is just so pretty and so stunning i love that so these are the majority of the lip glosses i use i don't a lot of the time get to use like crazy lip colors because i do a lot of makeup for people that are just going out to occasions like weddings parties formals debutantes all that kind of stuff so the lip colors i use for that are pretty much usually the same thing i have all these lip glosses from napoleon purdis's Every year he comes around Christmas time, he comes out with a lip gloss collection, a different one. This is the collection he came out with, not last year, but the year before, so about two years ago, and it has by far been my favorite. This color right here, I'm trying not to use it as much because it is my absolute favorite. It is the color Casey. And then I have Kate. What's this one? Tanya. Anna. And Rebecca so these are really really pretty colors there's all different ones but they're kind of based around like the same kind of color family if that makes sense so those are there I've also got three of the Charlotte Tilbury lip glosses which are just stunning and amazing this is seduction Ibiza nights which is one of my all-time favorite lip glosses and also my favorite Bardo beige so these are really pretty I love Charlotte Tilbury products. I've also got three of the MAC lip glasses. My most used one is definitely Nymphette. This is very popular. I love this color. I've also got Oyster Girl and also See Through. I have a Maybelline lip gloss. This is from a... These actually came at the end of last year. But I got this color and I've added it to my kit. It's really nice. It's kind of like a nudie kind of color. It's really pretty. So then I've also got two of the Revlon lip glosses. I have the shades Super Natural, which is this one. And also, what's this one? Snow Pink, which is really stunning. I have NARS Turkish Delight. This is a super popular color. Which is also one that you should probably have in your kit. It's really popular with the clients. I have Anastasia Pure Hollywood, which has become very popular since these came out, which I like to keep in there as well. I have a Chi Chi lip gloss in Hollywood Harris. I think these are pretty underrated. I think these are just so good and so affordable. I love this. I have the Whitening Lightning Buttercream lip gloss, which is amazeballs. I love this. And then I have another Napoleon Purtis one. This was Melon something. This one's discontinued. I've had this for a while, but it's really pretty. And then I've also got a NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. This is one of my all-time favorite lip glosses as well. Over in this area, I have a lot of my fixes and my cleaners and that kind of stuff. I have my all-time favorite brush cleaner, which is Cinema Secrets. And then I also have a backup of that because I'm running out. I just today ran out of the Parian Spirit brush cleaner, which is really nice. This actually smells like oranges. Orange juice mixed with chemicals is what it smells like. It's really effective though. It's one of my favorite brush cleaners too. The only thing that puts me off is the smell, which I'm not a fan of. But I've also got my MAC Fix Plus, which I love. I've got my model in a bottle, which I use on pretty much everybody. And this was really sweet. A follower of mine on Instagram actually sent me this, which is the Motives 10 Years Younger Makeup Setting Spray. I have it in the back here. I keep forgetting to use it, but I'm planning on using it this weekend because I have a bunch of clients. Over here, I have my Face of Australia Gentle Makeup Remover. This is actually pretty good. 
it's really affordable as well and then over here I have my Dettol sanitizer because you know what you've always got to keep your hands sanitary always no matter what if you touch your face if you touch your hair if you touch anything always make sure you sanitize your hands before you touch your client again I have my shadow shields and I've also got my Veramona color switch which is pretty cool and then over in the very back corner, it's nothing too interesting. I've just got a kind of spray to wipe the bench top with some paper towels there. I have my jar of beauty blenders and sponges. They're all dirty. I just finished a big weekend. So they all need to be cleaned, which I would, I usually use the um, beauty blender sol solids cleanser. I've actually switched to another product. I don't remember what it's called, but it's a soap, a brush soap made out of what is it? Like goat's milk, I think it was. And it's unscented, which is really cool. And I feel like it works a bit better than the salt cleanser, which is pretty awesome. I'll actually, I'll, I'll post about it soon. I don't remember what it's called. It's really annoying me. But I've also got this little jar where I keep my cotton buds in. I just hate having these all flailing around. So I just thought I would put them in a cute jar to make them look pretty. So back to this side, I like to leave my powders to the last because this is my absolute favorite part. I love face powders. But these actually aren't powders. These are MAC Studio Tech foundations. I haven't used these yet, so I just recently got them. I opened the foiling just so I could see the colors, but I haven't used these as yet, so I'll let you know how these go. But I, I have this thing where when I buy a new product, I can't use it on my clients before I use it on myself because I like to test it out, play with it a little bit, and then use it on my clients if I like it. But these I've yet to try out, so I'll let you guys know how these go. I got the shades NW15, NC27, and NW35. I also have four of the MAC Studio Fix powders. I love these powders. Amazing coverage, just an amazing effect. So I have C2, which looks like this. I have C4, looks like this. I have NW35, which is a bit darker. I like to use these on my girls with tan skin. And then lastly, I have C3 which is probably one of my most used shades. This one and C2. Over here, I have my most used setting powder ever. This is my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. This is definitely a staple. I cannot live without this. I've already got like two backups waiting to be used. This is the best. I also have this powder. It's also the Laura Mercier Mineral Finishing Powder in the shade one. I bought this thinking it was a translucent powder, but it wasn't, but they're very similar. Down here I have two of the Anastasia concealers. I have shades one and 1.5. These are amazing as well. Very, very full coverage, which I absolutely love. Over here I have my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. This is also an amazing palette. The mirror is dirty, but that doesn't matter because I never use that. But I use this bronze shade a lot and I also use the highlight shade a lot. I don't always use them together but this is an amazing palette to have and I recommend it to anybody who is considering buying it. So down here I also have a Bobbi Brown Sheer Finish Press Powder. This one hasn't been used yet. It's just sitting there waiting for the right time but it's a really really nice warm toned powder. Here I have some of the Dolce & Gabbana powders. This is an illuminating shimmer. I bought this from my shopping box haul as well. I haven't used this one yet. I am yet to have so many products that I need to use but I don't want to put it away in the drawer. I like to have it sitting with the rest of the Dolce & Gabbana powders so I put it here. 